Uh, my name is Dave Atwood. I'm a second row here at the Bristol Bears and I'm studying for a general diploma in law at UWE. It's a very difficult thing to do. Uh, you don't to kind of um, take false, false promises there. You, you have to be good with time management. You have to be prepared to uh, take time early in the morning or late in the evening to get, to, to get work done. Um, I'm also very fortunate here at Bristol, Pat Lamb and the rest of the coaching staff are very supportive and they allow me some flexibility if, I, if I've got lecture days or exams or things like that, they'll, they'll help uh, to move things around. But then on my side as well, I'll approach UWE and they've been uh, relatively flexible with me as well to allow me to kind of combine the two. Initially it was a bit of a shock, the last time I was a, I was a student was, uh, was kind of 10, 15 years ago, back when there were no real demands in my life apart from get up, feed myself, get back to bed. Um, but uh, now that I'm a, a, a full-time employee, um, I found the, the provision by UWE to be relatively flexible uh, and that's been key in terms of me being able to, do, uh, to onboard and, and take on information and study. Certainly as a professional rugby player, but also as, as someone in full-time employment, um, it's very easy to get dragged down the path of, uh, there's only kind of one focus, and I think it's a real asset to, to me as an individual and, and those people that, that choose to study, particularly while they're, they're full-time employed. It gives you a bit of uh, direction away from work, a little bit of broadening of your personality and your, your kind of skill set. And it's also nice to have another challenge. Sometimes things are going well or aren't going well at work and you, I've got a, a separate avenue where I can challenge myself and be challenged that's not related to work and that sometimes is a, is a very helpful stress for you. One of the things that the, the evolution of rugby, particularly over the last kind of 10 years, uh, has been really prevalent is the, the incidence of injury, uh, career ending injury, um, inhibition to, to life after rugby in, in terms of uh, the degradation of your, of your body and I think at all stages of, uh, of a professional rugby player's life now they need to be thinking about preparing and having in their back of their mind what's going to come next, particularly because there's no other job in the world like professional rugby, we're very very privileged and lucky to do what we do. Um, but also because no one really knows when the end is going to come. Sometimes that comes because you don't get a new contract, sometimes it comes through injury, but it's going to come sooner or later. And there are lots of skills that you can amplify as a professional player, but it's important to start getting some experience in the wider world. And um, Academia is a really good stepping stone for that.